Good morning. Good morning. From sea. Yeah. Very close to the land from sea. Yes. I will say. <laughs> we can we literally see, which I took a little picture. We could probably put it in here, but we're pretty close to land. I had to zoom in a little bit, but just know that we are closer. We can see the land closer than what the camera is picking up. I don't know if I could swim that far. It's true. It, it's far enough. Far. They're staying close to land. I feel like on purpose. We think so. Maybe this is just how they do it. Yeah, on the way back. Or maybe it's because they're afraid the engines are going to go out and we're not going to be able to make it, and they're going to have to go to land so we can get off so that we can be rescued. Yeah. Maybe I'm just I'm just being so negative. I'm sorry, guys. It just <laughs> it's been a bummer. We only got to go to one port, and it was a tender port. And I am now of the opinion that I don't like tender ports. And we still don't know about the next cruise if people if they're going to uh, cancel the next cruise if they're going to try to do a quick dry dock now or if they're going to just try to wait it out and just do a port or two ports a piece closer. Yeah. There's mixed reviews on the internet, so we'll we'll see what happens. So far, they haven't canceled the next cruise. So, mm -hmm. all right. So today, today is a sea day mm -hmm. because of our ship issues. I'm sure we're going to do trivia. Yeah. But I did something I've never done on a cruise ship before, but that I do every single week at home. If you can guess what it is, leave me down in the comments below. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't know what it was for a second there. Oh, you didn't? No, I, I got it now. We're good. Everything's good. Not that riddle. Well, that's because somebody wasn't awake for it. Yeah, I wasn't. So I am doing laundry on the ship. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we got some questionable laundry detergent from Mexico because Some, I forgot to pack pods. We got a baby refill detergent. It's a delicado. Yeah, delicate. For delicates. I was hoping it wasn't scented, but it was a little bit scented. But it wasn't scented like super florally or anything, so I think I'm gonna be okay with it. It kind of smells like baby powder. So I don't know if that is just a US thing that we don't, that we have quite a few options that are unscented versus like there was nothing there that was unscented. Like yeah, I at couldn't least find anything that said like steam see, fragrance. And, and if you have done have used them in the past, you know it's usually a white bottle, just to kind of even make it more of a point that it's unscented. Mm -hmm. Nothing there. Yeah, <laughs> nothing so. there like that. So it's pink, so it has dyes in it. Anyways, we did what we could. Mm -hmm. I tried. And then they do have stuff on the ship, but. I'm not sure if it's unscented either. It didn't say unscented on it, and usually American products that are unscented say unscented. Mm -hmm. And like the worst thing I'm gonna get is like something like Gain, which causes me to like not be able to breathe when I smell it because it's such strong fragrance. So yeah. I think we did okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I did the laundry. So here are the laundry deets. Six o'clock in the morning. Perfect perfect time to go get your laundry done nobody was in there a lady did come in as i was finishing up because i did this like whole thing where i poured the extra laundry detergent in a water bottle so that someone else could use it who knows if they will i left the little package so they could see what it was and the instructions so if you're on the carnival panorama and you go in the deck one odd laundry room and there's a pink bottle of stuff that's my laundry detergent you're welcome to it I just hate to waste if someone else in can November use it. November of 2023. Yes. It'll probably be gone by the... Well, I probably won't even edit this video before then, so... It's very true. Anyways, so it's 33 minutes on the washer, and it's $3.50. You just use your little card, your sign and sell card. Mm -hmm. And then for the dryer, it's three fifty again, and it is 75 minutes. So make sure that you have a good, like, uh, two hours to do this, because it does take a while, mm -hmm. so... But then we should be able to go get our nice, fresh, clean clothes and bring them back to the room. But I think we're gonna get some breakfast this morning. Yeah. We're probably gonna have huevos rancheros. What do you think? The usual, yeah, yeah. The huge. And then probably go to the Ocean Plaza around nine. To get sat there for more trivias. For more trivias. Who knows, maybe we'll do something else today. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Where do you want to ship on a stick? Mm-hmm. We have medals. Mm-hmm. We have spatulas. Yeah, from our cooking class. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like this is a really boring vlog series. <laughs> 
Sorry, guys, that we didn't have you with us more and more. Well, no, I mean, uh, who wants to see us play trivia? We really have just been playing trivia. We'll go to shows every now and then. That um, we can't really show you? Yeah. Because the comedy clubs we can't show you. We did show you some of Spellbound. Um, oh, uh, we'll put in, you'll see it, but we put in, uh, what's that, what's that called? What's the place we went to? Love and Marriage? Oh, yeah. We, done, we did we, that. We did that a couple nights ago, I think. Mm-hmm. So. Um, we were going to show you a wonderful taco tour um, in Mazatlan with, mm -hmm. a, with a great company, I'll tell you. I'll go ahead and shout them out because they were very easy to work with. It's Flavor Teller and Mazatlan. Uh, we got the idea to go use them from Paradj, mm -hmm. and I had been excited to go on this tour for you know probably about a year. <laughs> so, but they have already refunded our money. It's already mm -hmm. in. It's already been credited back to the credit card. And no, it's very fast. All, all I had to do was email. email email them, and they took care of it for us. So. Yeah. Thank you, Flavor Teller, for being so easy to work with, even mm -hmm. though, you know, it was unexpected that we didn't get to come. And we will be coming next time we are in Mazatlan, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And and then in Puerto Vallarta, we didn't have anything specific scheduled, but we were looking at the Rhythm of the Night tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just very expensive. So that's kind of what we were looking at. But... Maybe we'll just fly to Puerto Vallarta. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe we'll try another, We'll try to get there on another cruise. Maybe with a yeah. different cruise line. Maybe. We saw the eclipse out there. Celebrity eclipse. Maybe try to hop, on, hop on there. Yeah. I was having ship envy when we were out there. Here's what the, the celebrity eclipse looks like. And I bet it made all of its ports. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not bitter. Hashtag yes. not bitter. No, we're we're fine. We're fine. I joke. I joke, but I'm. I mean, it doesn't make me question ever going on a Vista class carnival cruise or somewhere I bit. actually want to go again. A little, little bit. Little yeah. Bit. Now, am I concerned about potentially going on the carnival? Uh, so, Venicia. Yes, I'm slightly scared about that because it's newer. It's the same. It just class. came out, but it let is me the know. Same did class. it just come out? We don't know what year it came out. It came over from Costa. So what year did it actually come out? Oh, well, we looked at it for you. Yeah, so we're not sure. We're just in here babbling, and Will's arm is probably getting really tired. So we're going to we're gonna go to breakfast now okay. while our clothes dry. Bye. 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 show you guys something these are delicious eat them like this they're so good they're called the roast potato on the bar should be right by the bacon try it, it is very 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 good okay that's my PSA bye for now hello guys um let's blurry will here again so just so you guys are aware Carnival's recommended way to put your food and plates out is actually in the hallway. We don't necessarily care for that, but that is their recommended way to do it. So if you see that they're like, room stewards didn't get your, their plates out properly or anything like that in your rooms, it's because the preferred method really is to put it outside your room and then they'll come, uh, there's another group that comes and grabs them from the rooms, from outside of the rooms. It's true. So just so you guys are aware, if you have any any cups or any drinks, because I think we had to actually put our like water bottles in the trash can for it to be taken out properly. So just be aware of that. 
And we're taking the elevator. We're taking the elevator. So yeah. Alright. See you guys at trivia. We have a friend. If you guys can see, though. Oh, okay. Then that's a guess. We figured it out. Uh, Mr. Frog? Here to see us? Yeah. And more views of the ocean. Hey guys, so this is just a check-in, just in case we don't do a lunch menu for you. So, we went to the uh, lunch today in Carnival. Usually they don't provide lunch, or it's just through their normal services like Guys, um, the Mexican place that's on Lido, I can't remember its name, um, and the buffet. But since we missed the port, they provided us with a lunch in the dining room. Um, Tuesday which is our third sea day and our fifth sea day because we missed the port those days so they did a port lunch port, sorry port breakfast in the mornings and then they provided a lunch dining room option so this is our dining room option it was a uh, taste of the world so it gave a gave a food from various places and it had the country that it's mainly from um, we got the beef empanada well I got the beef empanada um, and then Jordan got the super loaded nachos. Um, and then we also got the Caribbean pepper pot. And that seemed like it was the um, broccoli cheddar soup from last night added with more veggies in it. So it was really, really good to us at least. Um, for the entrees, we got fish and chips, the both of us. Um, but a friend of ours also got the pork ribs. And then for dessert, um, we got the brownie sundae, and then I also got the mil hoja, which was from Spain, um, and brownie sundae is of course American. Uh, but so that's what we got for lunch. We thought it was pretty good. Uh, fish and chips was not as good as Princess, but better than Royal. And then, I mean, I thought the beef and empanadas were pretty good. The nachos seem just seem like nachos, but yeah, we just, I just wanted to check in and make sure you guys were aware of what we got for lunch just today. Okay, talk to you guys real soon. We are at the end of the day. Yeah. We made it all the way through. Mm -hmm. So we need to recap some stuff for you. Mm -hmm. So we had lunch in the main dining room. I had the hot pepper pot, mm -hmm. which was soup. And I didn't know that. I didn't know what I thought it was. I didn't know what it was, to be honest. But I'm glad I tried it, because it's very good. I had the nachos, mm -hmm. I had the fish and chips, and then I had the worst brownie I've maybe ever had a bite of in my entire life. <laughs> Guys, it tasted like fruit cake that had been left out for six years. Maybe. Yeah, it, w it wasn't that great. The ice cream was really good on top of it, though. Mm -hmm. And, like, the fudgy sauce was good. And they had a little cream sauce with it. Oh, mine, at least, and that was good. Yeah, it was, I mean, the topping was good. Anyways, I don't recommend it. Um, yeah. So, then we did some trivia. Mm hmm and then we yeah, not went any trivia. Watched some karaoke. Mm -hmm. And then we went to the buffet for dinner. Yeah. So we don't usually go to the buffet for dinner. But I didn't feel like getting all dressed it up. 
And we tried out the buffet for dinner on a, uh, what's it called? Elegant night. Mm hmm And they had the prime rib. Mm hmm They didn't have lobster. But they had most of the options. Cordon Bleu, um. Just no lobster. Yeah, just no lobster. And really, like, they only had broccoli and baked potatoes for the sides. Mm -hmm. That's it. I thought they would have some other options. Oh, and rice. Yeah. That's it. So, man, Carnival, you've got to get a few other options on that buffet. Other than salad. Like, come on, throw some mac and cheese out there. Give the people what they want. Yeah. I mean. It's, it's, it's pretty. Uh, I, I had pizza. Yeah, we'll have pizza. And you got some apple thing for dessert. Yeah. Which yeah. I don't think it's actually on the menu, so that was something extra. Yeah. That was just at the buffet since they couldn't have the creme brulee. But, yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad. The prime rib was the same prime rib you would get in there. Mm -hmm. And I got, you know, a nice salad. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we went to two comedies. Yeah. So the first comedy was loud. He was, yeah. and apparently, Will's telling me that that's a thing. Like, to have a comedian. So, some comedians are like kind of abrupt. Kind of like, they like kind of yell in their act. He wasn't abrupt, he was screaming in the microphone. He was screaming in the microphone. For effect. For effect. But the effect it had for me was, I wanted to leave. But he was funny, it's just a little less screaming. Maybe mm -hmm. they just need to turn his microphone down a little bit, cause it was, yeah. just, it was just too loud. The second comedian was really funny. Mm -hmm. um, he did more of like crowd-based mm -hmm. comedy, which I'm not usually a huge fan of because I, I like like a true act better. Mm -hmm. But it was good. It was fine. What do you think of the comedians? Um, first guy was pretty funny. I, I think I would have liked his style of comedy, but it seemed like he couldn't really do what he wanted to do in the PG. Mm -hmm. One side because it's PG, one side because he couldn't really feel the crowd for what he would probably normally do. Um, and then, but I think he was funny. Uh, and second guy, I, I agree that I kind of wanted a true act, but you could kind of watch him multiple times because he's gonna have a different show because he feeds off the crowd yeah. quite a bit. Yeah, and you could tell he was funny. Like, mm -hmm. he was funny. But yeah, so it's 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I guess we're putting our clocks back tonight. Yes. So it's gonna actually, what does that mean? Like, is it really 9 o'clock? Yeah, it's going to be 9. So we get up. When we get up, our phones are going to say a time, and then we're going to subtract an hour from that? Yes. Okay. Okay, fine. So we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. So we will see you guys. We're going to have to fall back an hour to get right back with the um, California. Okay. I'm confused because I thought that daylight savings time happened and I thought we would have been right on with them. I'm really confused about the time. Anyway, so we are having a little concern. So we're scheduled to get to start debarkation at 9.15 mm -hmm. and that's later than we expected. So that's a little tight for our flight at 1.30. Because if we don't get off the ship until like 10.30, mm -hmm. then that's that's really close. Yeah, we're Luckily, the airport's only a few minutes away, but we would have to just take an Uber or something. And that seemed mm -hmm. kind of like a hot mess express um, getting out of the cruise port. So, we'll yeah, see. We may walk down to that hotel and try to get Uber from there. Yeah, I think that might be safer. the best route to go. But we'll let you guys know more about that tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll... We'll uh, find out more information tomorrow. So, all right. Well, we are going to go to bed. Yeah. And thanks so much for joining us today on whatever we managed to film and do <laughs> today. Yes. Yeah. It was pretty much the exact same as every other day. Um, but, yeah. So, we will talk to you guys later. Please like and subscribe. And give us comments. Yeah. Lots of questions. Love questions. All right. Good night, everybody.